Why do you set goals, do a business plan, and stick it in a drawer and never look at it again? Flip the script. Three things to change. Are you set up to create the most successful year ever? Are you caught up in the frenzy like 90% of the people goal setting, vision planning, and declaring your resolutions? Answer this question. Did you complete all of your goals over the years? The data says that most of us don't. Are you planning but not doing? If you did do the planning and the goal setting, fantastic, that is great. I'm gonna be a bit blunt here and maybe ruffle some feathers and I'm okay with that. Are you one of the herd? Don't take this wrong, I'm excited about the coming year. You can visit my video blog, Mr. C21, to get a very scientific 21 page goal setting business plan if that works for you. Or you can get a one page business plan if you want. But is it a trap that you're stepping into every year and are you setting yourself up for failure hey everybody i'm keith wright and i'm going to show you three things that maybe are holding you back and i think will help you i'm going to show you how to flip the script and be more successful i spent weeks putting this together so i hope it help hope it helps you so what are the missing pieces for you my purpose and message today is to help you move uh and those that we care about in the right direction. Here are some thought-provoking ideas and suggestions that my peeps, my family, my friends, my coaches, and 35 years of experience tell me. I have the honor to hang with some incredibly smart and extremely successful people. And since most of them will see this, I'm going to say I love you and thank you. The number one issue that few are talking about is overwhelm. There are tool systems, webinars, seminars, experts everywhere. We are inundated and overwhelmed with too much information. It's called overload. Should I purchase this software? Should I attend this seminar, this webinar? Let me ask you a question. How much education, webinars, seminars, software, packages, money, and time have you spent over the years and put in a drawer someplace? We all do it. We are in the most overwhelmed and overtrained society in the entire history of the world. So, what is happening to people today? We are paralyzed and most are shutting down. What direction do you and I go with all the changes and all the information? Even worse, many have the attitude, I'm just going to do it my way, alone. I'm just going to do it the same old way. That may work for a little while longer, but it's not sustainable in today's environment. Or you go to a zillion trainings, spend the money and the time, and you still don't have the production that you want. I'll give you a couple tips on how to handle this in a minute. But the most critical piece to remember is that it's not about you. It's about the consumer, the customer, the market, the message. What do they want? It's about the impact. I guarantee you, when you help enough other people get what they want, you'll get what you want. You get by giving. Number two, do you feel like you have to grind every single day? Isn't that an uncomfortable feeling? You can't be your true best self operating under that kind of pressure. It's a tough place to live in day in and day out. The reason you have to grind is because you're not doing the things that you need to do on a consistent basis. You're not consistent. You must learn to build one system and one process and build another system and process on top of that. Learn to do the same simple stuff every day and build on the things that work. We need to make commitments and micro commitments every single day. And let me just say this about goal setting. It's one of the most cliche overused and weak words ever used. Let me give an example of some of my micro commitments. I work out four to five times a week and it's hard. My micro commitments are get out of bed, get dressed fast, get coffee, and get out the door. 
I know that when I do this, I will feel great all day. And that overflows into every other area of my life. Micro commitments. Don't overthink it. Do it. Next, examine your attitudes. Even better, ask someone else about your attitudes. Look at your habits, your routines, your rituals, your systems, uh, and your tools. And ask a trusted friend or advisor or third party about your plans. You won't feel like you're grinding every day if you stay consistent. Number three, accountability. Question for you. Are you open-minded? A major problem today is the attitude, I don't need any help. I can do it on my own. Experienced people and entrepreneurs, I love you. We just talked about overwhelm, changing environment, being stuck, commitment, being consistent, and what the consumer wants. Can you do all that on your own? Find caring people who you can talk with. Find a caring community that can support you. Look up and pray. Get some quiet time once in a while. You can find a video that will help you talk to your boss or your broker, and it's titled, It's Not Working. It's at our video blog, MrC21.com, or you can contact me anytime. I'm happy to give you some feedback. Last and finally, we talked about overwhelm today. We talked about consistency. We talked about accountability. We are only on this journey of life for a little while. Do the next right thing right. Look forward. Look back. What happened? What didn't happen? What got in the way? You are the only one standing in the way of your happiness, your success, your health, your growth. So move aside and be the awesome, amazing, unique, and special person you are meant to be. Peace.